Hi, Taylor T. Carlson, and back with another video for you. You know that I love buying music on vinyl, and you also know that I love getting retro video games. Well, would you believe me if I told you that there's now a way that both of these interests have come together? Yes, game soundtracks on vinyl. It's a thing. And, of course, one of my all-time favorite video game series, as my shirt here probably dictates, is the Castlevania franchise. So, as soon as I found out that a company had released the Castlevania soundtrack on vinyl, I knew this was going to be something that I had to get. I'll do a brief unboxing showing this off, and then I'll also you know, share my feedback on the release as well. Now, when these are packaged, they originally come with these uh, OB strips on the spine, so... I'll just do a close-up of that. There's the Castlevania logo. Mondo is the name of the company who's put out these releases. There's a list of some other stuff that's coming soon from the same company. Contact information, barcode. And this side, I get the logo again. It says the artwork on here is by an artist named Becky Cloonan. Honestly, I don't know who that is. No disrespect, because the artwork on this release is actually great. Available for the first time ever on vinyl. Enter at your own risk. Got the... Uh, obligatory text intro down there, and then, as I say, the art of soundtracks. So now we'll do a brief unboxing, I'll talk a little more about the release itself. Here's the front cover, you got the silhouette of Simon Belmont standing against the glare of Dracula. On the back, you got the Castlevania logo down there, you got a close-up of the Medusa head. You got your track listings for side A and side B here. This is a 10-inch record, if you couldn't tell from the size of the case and it runs at 45 rpm rather than 33 and a third there's honestly not a ton of music in this game so it's barely brief pieces i love this inner gatefold which is a map of dracula's castle as seen in the game including like where you fight what bosses that you encounter in the game the actual record itself you pull this out it's in a dark sleeve and then the the vinyl is a transparent red disc. Blood red, which is certainly appropriate for a game where you're dealing with a blood-sucking vampire as the main villain. Apparently there are also limited edition pressings of this that are like half red, half gray, divided down the middle. I would love to have gotten one of those, but I think that was exclusive to somewhere else. Anyway, the first Castlevania game, of course, came out in the mid-80s. The game is broken into... 18 individual stages that are in groups of three. At the end of three, you fight a boss. So, like, you go through stage one, stage two, stage three, you fight your first boss, stage two, four, five, six, fight your next boss. And each cluster of stages has its own music. One thing I like about the soundtrack is it actually includes the Japanese Famicom only name entry music that was not used in the North American version since it didn't have any form of saving or battery backup. So you got the obligatory pieces like the vampire killer theme that plays in the first level. Then you got like your boss fight music, you know, final boss battle, ending music. I mean, you can take a look at the track list and scroll down there and get an idea of what's to be had here. It's pretty comprehensive, although I do have a few minor complaints. First of all, the soundtrack does not include the game over screen music, which was a pretty glaring oversight, especially considering they even included a track that was exclusive to the Japanese version of the game. There's also two tracks that end rather abruptly rather than fading out. They end them at just the right place, so it's not like a really jarring ending, but still it does make them stand out, not really in the best of ways from the other things on the record. Also, one of the tracks near the end of Side A actually has a medley of sound effects playing over it. If you're going to have a medley of sound effects, I think that's a great idea, but it really should be played as a separate track, not over an existing track. As is, there's not a ton of music on here, but that's only because the original Castlevania simply didn't have a ton of music in it, which was true of a lot of games from the 8-bit era. Also, I don't know if I showed this off before. There's the spine of the record. It's got the title and then all the catalog information there. I know it's a little hard to see on a YouTube video, but anyway, minor complaints aside, I'm actually very happy with this release, and I'll certainly be hunting down more of their Castlevania soundtracks as well as some of their other game soundtracks. Are you a Castlevania fan who's got a record player? Are you planning on adding this to your collection? Have you bought it? If so, let me know what you think. 
Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more reviews and content and give this video a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson and I will see you in my next video.